everybody, Spackman for Avengers of Spackman here. Today I am bringing you my second catch and cook video. I caught a nice uh, catfish earlier today. I've had it soaking in milk for about six hours. And I have some beer batter and some Cajun mix to batter it up and fry it up. Uh, but before we get to the cooking, let's see the catching. We got a big catfish. I'm assuming it's a catfish. A big one. Problem is I'm, I'm up on a cliff. So I'm gonna have to go down. Oh yeah, it's a big one. I can see it now. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. I'll be back. Okay, this is gonna take longer than I thought. I gotta tire him out. So I'm gonna bring it down. Hopefully I don't lose him in the process. But I believe I believe this is going to be my second catch and cook video. Hopefully it's a beach chair. Sorry, I had to put the camera on the ground. And there's a big old tree in the water. Right about where he is. We got to get him away from it. Somebody just showed up. Yeah. Oh, it's big. It's a good 10 pounder. Oh, it's using the top half of a sunny. Oh, I'll well, bit a 10 pound. Nope. Good 10, 15 pound catfish. Yep. Caught some last weekend. It is a big ass catfish. <laughs> oh no, no, it's a channel cat. It's a good 20 inches long, 10, 15 pounds. Huh? Yeah, it is a big one. <laughs> I caught one Father's Day weekend over there at the campsite and cooked it up. It was delicious. Oh, uh, that one was 15. It, it was huge, yeah. <laughs> this is a big fish, dude. Oh man, guys, this is awesome. So cool. I love catfishing. They are big fish. They put out a massive fight. And if you watched my last catch and cook video, they are delicious. Oh crap. I had a little. We had some nottage going on. Oh no. What a horrible time for a bird's nest. Second biggest cat of the season. Second big cat, I should say. And it is the second biggest. I think my last one was bigger, but not by much. I do have my scale in the van, I believe. That was a nice pull. Oh, no. Come on, buddy. You know you want to come in with me. He wants to be catfish nuggets tonight, right? <laughs> right now, I've been fighting him for 9 minutes and 15 seconds. Wow. And he is still putting up a fight. He is not ready. I wish I brought my net. Prior to catching this, I had two nice bites on it, right? 
and uh, just bites, just nibbled. It made my my catfish bell go off, but that was it. Just a just a real quick. So each time I reeled it in, the way you know if it's catfish is they don't really have teeth. So you just look for it being smushed, like chomped on. No bite marks, just nibbled, you know, like gummed, <laughs> for lack of a better term. And that's what I saw. So I knew, knew there was a catfish out there somewhere. So this is my fourth cast with the half of the head of a sunfish on there as bait. I like to set my timer for 15 minutes. If I don't get any action in that 15 minutes, I... I reel it in and recast it to a different spot. If that happens three times in a row, I usually leave the spot. Go to a different one. It's a good thumb, rule of thumb. 15 minutes without a nibble, definitely move around. I need to reline this, like bad. I've lost too many catfish to just reel it in and hope for the best. I really like to tire them out first. Usually once they hit the surface at shore, they will just kick right around and beeline it away from you. And if they have any sort of energy left, they'll snap your line right then and there. I just brought him up to the surface and look, he's running. He kicked right around. He's not ready yet. He's not ready yet, still, wow. I mean, I guess I wouldn't be either. Somebody's got me on a fishing pole talking about catch and cook videos. <laughs> I wouldn't want to come in the, come out of the water either. Oh boy. All right, I was just joking about the catch and cook video, jeez. I'll let you go. No, I won't. Don't worry, you'll go back and with the lawn line. <laughs> right, so now it's been 24 and a half minutes. I'm gonna go down. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I can get him in. <sighs> Holy cow, guys! Look at this fish. Holy cow! I got him. <laughs> I got him. Woo! All right, I'm gonna get this up to my gear, get him unhooked, get him dispatched, cause he's coming home with me. Oh, look at that fish! All right, guys, there it is. Yeah, a little bit of water come out of there. I just went and rinsed him off. I cut his barbs off since I'm taking him to go. Let's see how much he weighs. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of breath. Don't mind me. Nine point three before he falls off of there. Look at that fish. <sighs> Thumbnail? Yeah, this way. Okay, let's get some pictures. All right, guys. Catfish is gutted, de head. Whew. I'm exhausted. I had to do all that with, oh, where's my knife, where'd it go? <laughs> with the Mora chisel knife. <laughs> I did it, but it wasn't very easy. But here it is. I'm gonna pack up and head home. 
cook this up for dinner later. I'm gonna soak it in some milk. I hear it drowns out some of the fishiness. Not that catfish is very fishy, but if I can get rid of any of it, that's awesome. My kids will like it more, so dinner. All right, back home. Gonna cut up this catfish now. I'm gonna soak it in some milk to uh, get rid of some of the fishy taste. Don't know where my filet knife is, so I'm just gonna use this one. Eh, one filet, not bad. Eh, another one. All right, so now I got the skin coming apart from the meat. And I'm just tearing it off, tearing it away from the meat. Now, if you had a nice fillet knife, you can just cut it right off. But this is actually working extremely well. Bam, look at that. <laughs> Looks like I purchased it from the store. <laughs> Did was I just I cut it a little bit to get it started. And you kind of work your fingers into it in between. Ready? Bam! All right, we got our catfish all cut up into little chunks. Let me show you real fast. See that? Little nugget sized chunk. So now I hear whole milk is the best milk to use. I think it has something to do with the fats in it. So now what you want to do is soak your fish in it. So now, this will get rid of any fishy smell. It has, uh, it, this will work on it, pretty much any kind of fish, um, as long as you let it soak long enough. And then the milk will actually um, be used to let the breading stick on. So I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge, soaking for a few hours. And I'll get back to you when it's dinner right, time. I got some beer batter fish sitting here waiting to get fried. I have some Cajun uh, breading right here that I added some wooden beardsman wadobo into it. My youngest daughter loves this stuff, and so do I. It's delicious on pretty much anything. So now I'm going to take the catfish that was soaking in milk and bread it. Somebody's coming. Here comes Lila. I'm not, I'm not sure the camera can see you. It's pointed down at the table right now. I got my GSI pot, my fire maple stove. I'm gonna add some oil to this and get it heated up. About an inch or so. Maybe two inches. About that. Oh yeah, look at that. Getting there. Batch number two going in. I thought I was recording taking batch number one out, but I don't know. <laughs> no. So we'll find out in editing. This looks... That's cocktail sauce. This looks like blood. This seriously looks like blood, That's Dad. cocktail sauce. Okay, these ones in the back just came out, so let's try one from up here, okay? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. All right. First try of the Cajun catfish from this morning. Cheers. I got cocktail sauce. She has ketchup. Yum. Oh, oh wow. There is no, that milk really worked. There's no fish taste whatsoever, right? I'm gonna try with the ketchup, the ketchup. Yeah, I just 
tastes like the the fried shrimp. Really? I'm gonna try one of the big ones. That milk really worked. Oh, this is so good. I'm gonna try this one. It's shaped like a bone. <laughs> That one's not so hot. Oh, it's so good. I know. Oh, it's so good. How's so when I told Lila earlier that I caught a catfish, she was she was like, "Are we gonna eat it?" <laughs> she got so excited. Oh, this is so good. I gotta go get Charlie. Let's see if she wants to try it. Guys, this is really good. Did she not want to come? No, she does not want to try it. How much did you eat while I was gone? Just one? Did you talk to the camera at all? No, because it's off. Oh, yeah, there. Be careful, that oil is very hot. <laughs> Now I got the beer battered one. Oh, this one's baby. This one's a baby. I'm gonna drop this in. This one I just need to hold because it's not that hot. Ooh, that's Lila wanted a fork because the fish was hot. Um, yeah. It is so much better this time yeah. than the last time we made last it. Last time it was kind of fishy. A little fishy, but it wasn't bad. It, like, no, it didn't it taste bad, bad last time. This one is just that much better. It is so good yeah. soaked in. It, it wasn't bad, but I, I like the second one. Too. Soaked in milk for hours. This one looks like a dog bone, seriously. It looks like a dog bone? Yeah. Do not see the like... Oh bone. yeah, yeah it does. This one kind of looks like um, this. Muscles? Yeah. See, do you see the um, this bump thing and then the arm? Um, Oh, yeah. I know. The ones that I'm getting look like animals and stuff. Oh, I got this beer batter everywhere. The beer batter is done. Lila <laughs> got upset that I took the plate of fish away. I wanted this one to come out more like a beer batter looking like sweet and sour chicken. But because it was the second thing we cooked, the other spice was already in there. There's the beer battered one. Ooh, that looks delicious. You ready to try this one, kid? Yeah. All right, I think the fish is, the beer batter has cooled down enough. We're going to try this now. Oh, no, that's, that's the regular one. Here, oh, no, I put cocktail sauce on it. Let's get you one right there. Oh, you're gonna use your fork? Mr. Bibles is gonna try some too. Mm. You like it? Yes, I do! No, that's not how he talks. He oh, talks like I, this. I'm sorry. Yeah, he do. <laughs> oh, 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 cheers. He likes that, but this blend is good! Yum, yum, yum. It has less seasoning than the other one. Yeah. But I I think I like it better. I like it better. You like it better too? Here, have this little piece and that's it. Yum. Let's get you a couple pieces over here. Get me a couple pieces over here. Yeah. Ooh, that's delicious. This is our dinner. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I think this one doesn't have a, much of a flavor. Right. Yeah. To me, it just tastes like ketchup. <laughs> mine tastes like cocktail sauce. Because <laughs> mine just has ketchup and it doesn't have that much flavor to it. I like it because okay. it's, it's much crispier. Yeah. Um, the fish actually might be done a little more. Not that the other one wasn't cooked enough. It, this is just... 
You can I don't get, know, it's got a different texture to it. You can get Mr. Fuzzles on Amazon. I found him on a Amazon one time, and now he got it. So. Oh, really? Okay. Well, we're going to sit here and finish our dinner. Our and second catch and cook video. But his real name is Mr. Cat. Mr. Cat. So, Mr. Mr. Cat, Lila, and me, we're going to sit here and finish our food. No, that's his name to look up. Mr. Cat. Oh, is it really on Amazon? Mr. Cat. So, if, if you want this cat, we'll leave a link in the description below to, to the Amazon where you can buy it. Um, but So, we're going to sit here, finish our food. So, thanks for joining us on this adventure, our second Catch and Cook video. <laughs> Join us on Adventures of Spackman. Have a good one. Bye. Meow. I'm putting some double spice on the other one to give it a little bit of spice. Say shout out to the wooden beersman. Shout out to the wooden beersman. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's a lot of wooden double spice. I, I didn't mean to do that. It's just like it has some. Good. That's good. <laughs> oh, Is it ketchup God. in this?